Afghanistan's foreign minister has invited India to invest in Afghanistan's mineral sector, and both countries have decided to start direct flights between Amritsar and Kabul. In a major blow to Pakistan's economic hopes, U.S. Energy Secretary Chris Wright has stated that the U.S. is not interested in exploring oil reserves in Pakistan. Just as India issued an expanded NOTAM for a hypersonic missile test on 15 October, China's Yuan Wang 5 missile and satellite tracking vessel has entered the Indian Ocean. The armies of India and Russia have started the Indra 2025 joint exercise in Rajasthan. The gas turbine research establishment is developing a new variant of the Cavalry Marine gas turbine engine for naval propulsion. India might scrap the plan to build three additional French origin scorpion submarines at Mazagin Dock ship builders valued 36,000 crore rupees, as the government moves ahead with constructing six new German origin stealth submarines on the Project 75i. The Aeronautical Development Agency is developing motorized universal weapon loading trolley to efficiently load and unload weapons on the Tejas Mark 1 and Mark 1A aircraft. The DRDO is developing an advanced de-icing system for the OAX antenna, under the Netra Mark II program. The Indian Air Force will upgrade its IL-76 and C-17 Globemaster fleet with the next-generation radar warning receiver, that will enable quicker and more precise detection of modern stealth radar systems. India's Astra Mark II and Mark III program is advancing with the integration of gallium nitride-based ACE seekers, marking a major upgrade over the current gallium arsenide technology, that will offer higher power efficiency, better resistance to jamming, greater reliability, and boost effective kill range by at least 20-30% to within the missile's current kinematic range limits of 160 km and 300 km respectively. After successful user trials on the T-90, the RDO's explosive reactive armor Mark II has received bulk production clearance from the Indian Army. The production will begin in collaboration between Tato Advanced Systems and Kalyani Strategic Systems, with upgrades costing under 50 lakh rupees per tank, and are expected to start equipping priority squadrons by mid-2026. JSW Defense and US-based Shield AI, have accelerated their collaboration on the VBAT Group 3 unmanned aerial system, by integrating the RDO's edge AI and sensor technologies, HAL state link protocols, indigenous seekers by Bharat Electronics, and the smart anti-airfield weapon. This AI-driven kill chain acceleration enables GPS-denied swarm operations, seamless integration with Akash NG and Brahmo's missile system. Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems has indicated that the 250 km range Mach 5.5 capable Sky Sting hypersonic beyond visual range air to air missile can be fully integrated on the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet within 18 months. Rafael has also proposed make in India production with over 70% local content, bridging the gap until India's 300 km range Astra Mark 3 missile is ready by 2030. Azerbaijan's Caspian Broadcasting Company has reported that Russia's Su-57 offer to India with technology transfer and local assembly has clear advantages over the Chinese J-35A which Pakistan plans to buy. The analysis highlighted Chinese engine shortcomings with the J-35A, while the Su-57's AL-41F1 delivers higher thrust longer life and better maneuverability. The report concluded that the Su-57E equipped with advanced radar and hypersonic weapons provides India a decisive long-range PVR capability and high-altitude edge, whereas the J-35A remains limited for Himalayan operations. Today's Top 3 Comments